We can't say all aboard just yet when it comes to passenger rail in the Lehigh Valley, but we can say more people are on board with exploring whether the trains will roll through here again. Our business reporter, Justin Backover, is here to tell us about an important step in the process just announced today. Justin? Yeah, that's right, Wendy and Rob. There's around $66 billion from the infrastructure bill for passenger rail, and the Lehigh Valley Transportation Study is taking a serious look at whether or not it can get some of those funds, announcing today a partnership with Penn to take the first official step at figuring out what passenger rail could look like in the Lehigh Valley. The Lehigh Valley Transportation Study is partnering with PennDOT to conduct a passenger rail analysis, a first-of-its-kind analysis of the region that will meet the federal government's requirements to apply for funding with the Federal Railroad Administration. In the most basic sense of the word, no study, no rail. Executive Director of the Lehigh Valley Planning Commission, Becky Bradley, is Secretary of the LVTS. First, we'd have to figure out, you know, what the appropriate route could be. Um, is it a route to North Jersey and New York? Is it a connection to Philadelphia or even out to Harrisburg or some com combination thereof? What's the strategy? Then we would identify rail partners. Is that rail partner uh, New Jersey Transit? Is it SEPTA? Is it Amtrak? Is it Lanta? It also forecasts ridership capital investments and operational costs. So getting this information now and getting it lined up is going to be important in the future. PennDOT is paying for the study around 300,000. Jenny Lewers is deputy secretary for multimodal transportation. Most of the concepts that I've seen thus far for this area also involve sharing rail with freight rail, and that brings its own set of challenges. While we don't know what the cost might be yet, a similar analysis done in Reading of a smaller potential rail network to Philadelphia clocked in at around 800 million before inflation. Again, the math. The math has to work um, in terms of ridership, in terms of um, building the system operations and maintenance. Now, the analysis will take probably about 12 months, maybe a little longer. Once they get that data, they can then either decide to move forward with a plan or not and submit it for federal funding. It could take a decade or longer to actually get the service running. Back over to you.